Hello, today is um, <clears throat> Monday, the 11th. I want to send money just now, earlier. to my YouTuber because they make uh, sandwiches. A hundred dollars where? To my YouTuber. My favorite YouTuber. I've been watching YouTube during this COVID. Oh my God. So... Anyway, so you know, they make sandwiches for the hospital. Oh. So he he goes to this pork lady and she makes sandwiches and they distribute to the hospital. That's nice. So I've been, huh? I was Chinatown. Last time I was down there, my favorite restaurant, you know, the dim sum place with the old ladies, closed. No, no, they have. It's still uh, to go. Okay. Yeah. They, they were closed like for <clears throat> Yeah, I should have gone with you. But I, I had a mission, you know. I want to donate money. And also I want to grab the preserve thing for my dad and mom for a uh, new year you know it's like a big dish of um hello the guilt what's it mouse poop and cat poop that's what it's called and then all these preserve and coconut you know in a big one and then um a small tray they ship from Vietnam over, so it's like thirty dollar and twenty bucks. So it's New Year thing you put on the altar. So at this time, we, if if you're leaving for Vietnam after, um, I'm not, I'm not, I have no plans to go to Vietnam in 2021. Zero plans. What are your girlfriend gonna think? I I I'm not working. What do you, what do you want me to do? Wait, wait, wait. But you talk to her? Isn't she sending you some money? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on! <laughs> you know Van is still in love with you, so why don't you talk to her? She's on Facebook. Uh, I'm still not on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Seriously? I recently got Facebook because I was sending money to my favorite YouTubers. So I created a, a Facebook account. I sold myself out. Yeah. Only because during this time. Otherwise, I'm a very private person like you. During this crazy time, I have become um, a YouTuber, a donator, a Facebook fanatic. Now I even like take picture of my coffee this morning and post on Facebook. Oh my God! That's it. <laughs> You're off the deep end. Who does that? Who do you think is interested in your cup of coffee? My Seriously. 
seven friends. Okay? My seven friends. Oh my god. Okay? I have seven friends on Facebook. And that's Nobody my interested in this cup of coffee, I guarantee you that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I mean so I see these people in Vietnam, and they're so frail and thin, and, um, and they're at the hospital. And I, I was recently at the hospital. My dad was in um, uh, Overlake for four days. I was over there the whole time. I was supposedly his translator. Otherwise, there's no family during this time in ICU. Right. That was a good call. <laughs> call? You know, uh... Like six years ago, when he first had his triple A, uh, basically, we had the whole family there in ICU. But uh, now with COVID, I'm the only one who keep him company. And now he's back. It's been, uh, we left on the 18th of December, December. So now, you know, it's the 11th. It's almost a month. So he's good. He's, he's fine. Um, yeah, I was, another reason why I, I um, had Facebook was John. He's um, one of my clients, Amber. She introduced me to John back in 2015, who is her landlord, who lives right across from that plaza. Um, I used to work. And, um, Evans Plaza. He lived across in the, um, what you call, uh, yeah, condo townhouse. So it's similar to yours, but your, but not waterfront. It's right there. It's called, um, what's it called? Ennis Glam. And he worked for Microsoft and she was renting a room from him. So she introduced me to John five years ago. And, um, in September, he was going back to uh, Iowa. Iowa, and he had a heart attack, an open heart surgery, and they put uh, five uh, stents or five. You know, they take it out from the artery of the leg, and then they put it in there because it was clogged. Because he passed out at the airport, and someone resuscitated him, and then they. Uh, uh, took him to Valley, then they transferred him over to Swedish for the procedure, for the open heart surgery. But he's fine now too. Initially, I was going to go back to Vietnam after we went in 2016, August of 2016, when you, me, and um, my parents, and and um, Kevin, and uh, all the girls went there. But And then 2018 in August, I was going to go there with John. Well, he kind of pissed me off in 2018, so we we came that that trip. And at that time, he was talking to uh, Tam, which is, which is Tu's sister. Um, Kevin married Tu 2016 when we came back or got engaged, and John was going to meet Tam, uh, Tam uh, but we didn't go, and now. That's another reason I got Facebook, is because now they're talking again. Because during that gap, when he didn't go in 2018, um, they lost contact. And ironically, 2019, in April, she had a hysterectomy at the age of 31. I know, I know. I was like, I'm so shocked. She had like a tumor out of her uterus, and they cut the whole shebang. They didn't do radiation. They didn't do chemo to remove that one little lump. Because from April of 2019, she was leaking, like bleeding a little bit. And then in October, they decided to butcher her because uh, they saw the normal growth a little bigger. And they didn't do like um, microscopic bio uh, biopsy. They didn't do anything. They, the first time they come in, they butcher her and they took out her uterus. I know. I'm, I'm like totally shocked. 
I didn't know that until John told me. That's a 50 year old lady's problem. 50 years old, not a 31 year old. I know, I was like telling her, I I am totally shocked. I mean, the reason, uh, well, initially is to, you know, <clears throat> she was like single engineer, you know, without children. If we had came back there in 2018, I think she would have got pregnant with John and have his baby. <gasps> now she, he doesn't care about kids, but I'm like, you know, I, I, I'm kind of devastated, you know, because with Tug being in Vietnam, because she doesn't have any children, because Kevin don't want to have kids, she's still stuck over there based on Trump, you know, policy for, uh, for coming to America. But now we have Biden, so... Hopefully, it's Did she ever get her visa? <clears throat> she Did put she it. Try? Yeah, they tried twice. Now they tried again this year. And it's been four years. You know, if she had been over here after three months of being married, that's how the procedure is. After three months of being married, and then she applied, and then she, she passed first round because when they came, when we came back here. She put in the paperwork, and she got the interview in January, you see? They got engaged in uh, August when we were there. August, September, October, November, December. In January, that was six months for the applications to proceed. And the process it, and they had her come in, you know, after six months of her submitting it, because she submitted right away. And then she they failed her. Based on three questions. It was how a long was her, how long was her interview, do you remember? Two minutes. Bullshit. Two Seriously. Minutes say no. Yeah. The panel with the white guy at the embassy. They asked her, um uh, who's your uh, who's your who's your fiance? Because she put in the paperwork as fiance because at that time she heard the rumors is if it's a fiance then it's gonna be a fast thing if it's a uh, if it's a marriage it's gonna be two years all right but now it's four years okay so at that time she put in the fiance and they say a fiance three to six months she'll be good to go so at the interview they ask her who's your fiance uh, she said Kevin and then um, they ask her this is what she told me, okay? They asked her, uh, how do you two meet? And she said, match made by me. <laughs> Once she say that, the second question, match made by me, she's done. They fail um, her. I've, I've heard the interviews can go on for 45 minutes. Like That's when they time. liked you. Huh? That's when they liked you. But they discriminate you the moment that you say you're match made. But then I was working with the girls, um, not last year, but 2018. She was pregnant. I mean, she went to Vietnam. She got pregnant. Once she popped the baby over here, he came to America. So my saying is, you know, because Tu did not have the baby. So it's been four years now since 2016. And now it's reaching five years. I mean, if she's in America, after five years, she can take a citizenship and bring all her family over, too. And then another interview, after she failed that one, guess what the other interview was? The embassy called Kevin. In English, asking him, who's your wife? Because at that time, they're married. They had a wedding in 2018. Didn't you go? No? Oh, you didn't go with them. Okay. Uh, my brother and his family, my other brother, Ty, the whole family went to Vietnam, attend the wedding. And the interview was, um, the question was very elaborate. He said it was a long one. It was, a, it was in English. And they asked a whole bunch of questions that he didn't know the answer, like, what are your siblings' names? Her siblings. Uh, 
that's that, that's tough. That's tough. Why is it tough? You write it all down, man. No, I know, but I mean, to keep track. I mean, they're just not asking who her brother. They're gonna ask parents. They're gonna ask how old they are. I mean, all these things. I, I just. Do you, I can do you know why people. they asked for that? Did you know why? Yeah. The reason they asked for these is because once you come to America. After five years, you become a citizen. You have the right to sponsor your whole entire biological family over. Those, the mom, the siblings, all of them is going to be sponsored over. That's what happened to, you know, Brian Wiley. When he went over there with me in 2009, and he married her, in three months, she came to America, okay? She did not have his, well, actually, she, she was pregnant. She came to America. Now, five years later, you know, they were all, my, my uncle and my aunt, the last one, number 11, they all came to America. That's the reason they want to know. Why? Who? All those people. You got to know, you know. But only if she failed the physical interview. If she did not, you're not even in the picture. Seriously. They don't care about you. Have you ever uh, have you ever seen 90 Day Fiance? I seen the one with um uh uh Sandra not Sandra uh, yeah Sandra Bullock the Canadian and uh, it's a contract marriage an American marrying a Canadian. So she can... no 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 the television show 90 Day Fiance. No, I don't watch TV shows. I watch a movie. It's, it's funny. It's hilarious. It's basically when foreign foreigners are marrying Americans and they're trying to bring them in the United States. They have 90 days to marry and they kind of document everything a little bit before and then during the 90 days they document. It's funny. Larry. Yeah, I mean, you too. You show that documentation to the embassy when she goes to the interview and you fly home that day. Sitting outside, waiting for her to pass or not, because that's what Kevin did, and she failed. <laughs> I laugh, I laugh, but I, I, I'm. God, what's it like if I fall in love with someone over there? I never thought about it. You know how you, you're such a jerk. You tried to hook me up in 2016 with the doorman, the missing teeth one. <laughs> Doorman. Yeah, at the hotel, La La Petite Paris. Oh, oh, oh. That was a, that was, that was a joke. Oh, Joe, really? He took it seriously. He was, he was so funny. I loved him. He was a good guy. Yeah, he was smiling at me the whole time. You gonna bring me to America? <laughs> I don't mind, that, you know, that he's a doorman. I don't care. But, hey, it, could you find a guy for more teas, please? That was a joke. Oh, a joke? <laughs> that guy did not think so. He was yes, going. He, he was like, oh, I'll climb on your back. Can you carry me? <laughs> <laughs> carry on your back? Remember, he said, oh, you're too high. You're up here, right down here. Can I? <laughs> I know because I'm an American and he's a doorman. I don't care about that, but the guy. I really like that hotel. Hell no! It's dumb. The sewer system is not even six feet under. You know what's a good hotel? My brother stayed. They had a shuttle pick him up at the airport. But you've been back and forth so many times. You say you find the most. I've been in five star hotels there. Okay. Does it so stunk? I... Does it stunk? Huh? Did it stunk? No. no. These are beautiful, beautiful hotels. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, but I'm not saying in hotels. There's something really charming about that that hotel with the little doorman. Oh yeah, you lost it with her. You. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Van stand out two hour waiting for you that Friday night. Oh my God. You hurt us too. Anyways, I would never ever go to a hotel. I have so many relatives. Why the hell would I want to go to a hotel? And it stunk. 
Of course, you know I'm not in love, so I don't know, you know. Well, it's just it's a good it's it's a good location. It's right near the market. It's right near the walking street. Oh yeah, your coffee shop and all the little things you like. All the little things, Mia, everything. Mia. Cool. Oh 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 oh, uh, B yeah. Oh, I thought you said Mia because there's a hotel yeah, called. Beer, not beer. <laughs> Beer's everywhere, for God's sake. Oh yeah, your favorite thing, pool hall. Well, you know, if you we are going to go back one day, certainly. You know, it would be nice. I thought I I I I, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of cool if you're in love, though, and you can check out all the facilities. Even if I, if, even if that wasn't going on, I love it there. So. Yeah, because you're a white guy walking down the street, and all the chicks are like drilling. Oh, Alex. No, it's it's like it reminds me of the Sands, like a strip club at one in the morning on a Friday night. It's just busy, you know, and it's just a lot of things going on. I like that. I like that. Hey, you know, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and there's a lot of trans. A lot of what? A lot of trans. Tra oh. Transgender. What do you think of that? Think anything of it? Have you have experience? With no. no, a completely. <laughs> okay, Thailand is next door. Okay, they had completely. I, I, I actually have had an experience. Somebody came in looking for a job, and I was mortified twice. Two different people mortified. Okay, I got you. I know what you are. Lover of a woman. <laughs> You're all about female. Okay, got you. Shouldn't my occupation since 18 years old have given that away? Okay, but you know, I like I said, during this time of COVID, I've been watching YouTube and I've seen this really, really beautiful transgender in Vietnam. And they got a lot of viewers, so I'm just saying, you know, getting a, a lot of viewers, somebody must be very interested. Obviously not you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I think I, I predicted this ten years ago, maybe twelve years ago, that there's going to be a lot of trans gender. No, no, that there would be a transgender guy who became a woman, who then entered a professional sport and dominated it, and I thought. How grotesquely unfair that would be, and that's exactly what's happened. Yeah, Unfair. I can give you like five different stories. And most recently, in Washington State, um, there's a transgender now woman um, who got a basketball scholarship ahead of you know there are only three that got handed out, and she got one of them, or he got one of them. Ahead of you know other women who've worked their whole lives, you know, oh. you know, it's just unfair. It's just unfair. Yeah, for the recipient who supposedly should have it because her gender is um, naturally saying that she should, and she had worked her ass off, but she got kicked down because the guy. You and I both know that the muscular yeah. development of a man is completely different than the muscular development of a woman. Okay, to sit here and say, "Oh, it's just the same," you know, no. is a denial of science and reality. In yeah. 2014 or 15, there was an MMA, you know, mixed martial arts. I mean, the real, real, you no know, bullshit. A transgender man got in the ring with the woman and beat and the shit out of her. The yeah. shit, I mean, like, like so violent, like you wouldn't even believe it. He grabbed her hair by her head. And took his knee and just boom, boom, boom on his kneecap like ten successive times. Uh, I mean, it's just and that strength is pertinent to a man' physical, biological strength. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm just saying, since you're in the uh, playboy sort of lifestyle, 
I'm wondering, based on what I've seen on YouTube lately of Vietnam, if you were one of those uh, eager participants, thank God, Oops, you're not. <laughs> I don't even know where you're going with this. I, I'm just, I'm just very, uh, I'm just so. Sometimes you feel threatened, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. When well, the viewer rate is so is it, is large. That, uh, huh? um, what's your cousin's name? There's so many. Dan, Dan's world. Yeah, that's her world. Yeah, that's her world. And yet, you know, she got an Indonesian guy. You're not interested in her at all, huh? She's really interested in you. She's beautiful. This has nothing to do with that. Yeah, it's just her lifestyle. It's scary to me, too. She's a freaking dragon. Ugh. She scared the hell out of me, too. I think you're more of a conservative. Well, you gotta yourself a tigress anyways, right? But, you know, that animal sign supposedly very dominant, but, you know, they are more, very submissive and uh, uh, peaceful people. You would think yeah, they I aren't. Just, I, I, I'm not looking for over the top. Yeah, because your lifestyle, I mean, you lived that life and you've seen it, so you would not want it. I got you. I certainly wouldn't want a guy who's like that either. Duh. Although I did kind of fall for you because you look so much better in Vietnam because of your complexion than all the other guys, especially the doorman. You hooked me up with a missing teeth. Oh, my God. I was in Chinatown in Lamb Seafood. And I was standing in line with my big uh, preserve um, muk, you know, that's what it's called. Muk is preserved for the New Year. Two of them, I'm holding it, it's heavy. And there was a homeless guy. I didn't know he was homeless, okay? I know the guy behind me was homeless. I didn't know they come together. And this guy, I know he's homeless because he's American, white American in lamb seafood, Asian grocery, and he looked, you know, just... But this this guy in front of me, he's like, <laughs> I didn't know they're together, so I was like, I was standing, and he started talking to me because he was giving me the eyeball. So I was like, I give him the eyeball back, you know. So, I, and then he started talking, and I was like, this thing is heavy. So he was like, oh, I can, um, I can carry for you. He was using the word un. I'm saying I'm Jane John. I was like, <laughs> what did he say? He was using the word endearment, you know, and you know, like an ya am, right? Sort of like an, you know, like he will carry it for me, you know. And I was like, no, 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 you know. I I said, um, you know, he has his stuff. I thought I thought, I thought that meant I love you. An you am. No, 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 no. He just met me, okay? He's homeless guy, okay? I didn't know he was homeless because I was looking at his pants and his military, you know? He got the dark army digital pants. And so I was like, you know, for me, a guy who wears military clothes is, is very intriguing. But with military background, you never wear military clothes when you're in the military because that's our regulation. But this guy had this camouflage, digital, dark navy, which is the army color. I'm looking at that, and I'm kind of like, hmm, you know, so this guy is interested. Or, I don't know where he got the pants. I have no idea. I, I give all my clothes away when I got out, okay, to the one who re-enlist, you know, they re-up, so they get all my stuff. And if you get caught wearing them out of regulation, like wearing this and then a digital pants, you're in trouble, especially if you're military background, you know. But this guy was wearing it, and I thought in my in my heart, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, you are a, a military lover, you know what I mean? So he started talking to me, and I, I was holding this heavy stuff, and he wanted to carry it for me, and I... <laughs> Anyways, I didn't know the homeless people all together. They're drug users. You know, they're both, you know, do drugs under the bridge. So I was like, 
at first I was kind of taken with him, you know. With COVID, you wear this mask so you can't really see him, you know. You know, just the eyes. And he cannot see me either because it's just my... So, <laughs> That's so strange. But yeah, yeah, I hear you. So, I was taken by a homeless guy, all right? Wow. Wow. I know. You're moving up in the world. I moved up in the world. Go from doorman to homeless American. <laughs> oh my god, and all, all because I went to uh, the place to transfer money and buy some uh, preserve for my... Oh yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. See what I'm saying? Damn it. And he was my perfect height too, because he was, you know, small guy. I'm so pissed off that I that I get myself carried away talking to that man. Ugh. Homeless. I must have been desperate or something. Okay. I have not had a boyfriend for five years, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> I was fine. Say what? Say you're picky, that's all. I'm not picky. I don't fall in love. I mean, I look at these men and I'm like, I thought I felt something for you in Vietnam because everybody felt something for you, you know. Every girl was falling for you, so I was like, oh, me too. But I woke myself up pretty fast. Wow, wow. Can I fall in love with Alex? Alex has plenty of girls. <laughs> well, that was, a, that was a great trip. That was fun. That was a fun trip. Yeah, and then you keep going back every three months. And now you can't go because of COVID and also financial situation. Well, I've been there since 2019, so. Say what? I'm about to go two, year, two years without going back. You're planning on two years not going back, and your relationship with her is okay? No, I'm saying, I'm saying I haven't been there since 2019, and 20's gone, and I don't see me going to 21, so, shit. Hey, hold on a minute, 19, you didn't go back at all. I thought you went. I did, I did in 19, uh -uh. obviously in 20, and... You can go on 20, because, you know, 20, they close the gate, the border. Where are you? Is this your own mom's place? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm happy. How is I your sister? I was going to do. So, How's your it. sister? Good. How's your sister? Good. Good. Okay. Cool. I like that. Um, This Christmas, she didn't send me a card. I have a car post up, hang up on the wall. She have uh, rough end of the year. What happened to her? <laughs> Just everything COVID, you know, the whole the whole year, you know. Oh, okay. It's been difficult for everybody in different ways, you know. So, how is your girl uh, over there? You still talk to her every day? Yeah, still talking. Um, kept me sane. Kept me sane for uh, 2020. She kept you sane. She's yeah. your tigress. Perfect mate. I told you that. Cats and dogs. Tigress and dog. She's not a cat. She's a tiger. She's she's born 1974, right? No, 86. Oh, 1986. Okay, okay, yeah. She has your forehead. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Intelligence. Yeah, she's sweet. She is sweet. I still talk to my friend from Japan all the time. 
Oh, the guy who uh, gave you the bottle of whiskey? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable in Japan. I was just talking to him uh, last week, and he was at a restaurant with his girlfriend. Uh-huh. The restaurant is packed. I mean, absolutely packed. This is in Osaka, the second biggest city, you know. 15 million people, you know. And, uh, nobody wearing a mask. Not one so person. is Vietnam. Restaurants open, nightclubs open. So is Turkey, too. In um, Europe, from America, you can fly to Turkey. No, Turkey is completely shut down. Someone told me, oh, John, John Nees no, just flew Turkey there. Completely shut down. Only children can only leave the house from 8 a.m. till noon. If you're older than 18, you can be out from 12 to 6. <laughs> and weekends is off limits. Nobody goes out on the weekends. That's it. That's horrible. So, um, yeah, like I was telling you about um, the lack of love in my life, and I didn't really care about that. But recently, you know, I'm inspired by, um, I don't know, by, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't even know what he looked like. I was kind of interested in this dude who's doing good things for Vietnam, but he's rather young, so I guess I'll, I'll be kind of like on the low low with that one. Your sister is no. at home too, doing nothing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, John. And Kevin is probably going to go, Kevin's going to visit his wife, and John's going to visit Tam. And I will probably... Have they, even, have they ever been intimate together? I mean, Jesus Christ. When the hell they ever see each other? Which one? John? Kevin. John and Tam? Oh, Kevin and his wife? Yeah. She lost it to him, man. She was a virgin. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I don't know. I mean, I never yeah, seen him. Probably spent what twenty days together. I mean, face to face. You know, for an active guy like you, you probably want a lot of action. But for someone like old-fashioned and very religious background, Kevin was. That's why he never had kids because his mom sort of like brainwashed him. So that's why he never did got married. So there isn't a lot of uh, that kind of physical because basically, well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just assuming, okay, just like you're assuming. I'm not, I have never been in that kind of situation with him, neither. It just seems strange. It just it seems strange. Um, okay. He never talked about his private relationship with his wife. However, in the past, um, when me and, and Jessica was in his car going home from uh, Jessica's uh, boyfriend uh, barbecue, Rob, you know, and uh, this lady who always called him, he was dating her at that time, Deborah, she was, she's the uh, counselor for the regional um, South End of high school in the South End. Um, he broke up with her, but he tells me the relationship with that woman. Um, well, she was a, a shrink, so she prescribed him ADH pills, because that's what he is diagnosed with, ADH. What's ADH? Um, you know, attention deficit hyperactivity, jumping around. So then you get ADH or ADH um whatever, whatever, uh, a, a different form of, um, you know, to lower your system. And she prescribed him that, and I think the sex life is Deborah and him. He said that it was, mm, well, she was a, well, she, she didn't have any kids. Deborah didn't have any kids. She was older, too, and she was a redhead. 
And then he told me about like he had like a relationship with this other young chick from his、uh, motorcycle club. But that didn't work out too well because that girl, you know, kind of like moved from him to his friend. That's why he went to Vietnam to look for a real thing. So I think he's more into the real thing than just actions in the bedroom. And I don't know what kind of action in the bedroom because I never enter that route. Because when I know him all that time. I don't know what kind of action. <laughs> well, this uh, um, I think last September. Uh huh. I send an email to the television show Ninety Day Fiance, and they don't they don't contact me back or anything. And, um, Because they have million of viewers, yeah. I, you don't even know what the show is. It's an American show that have million of viewers who they don't respond to you, while my YouTuber respond to me every four or five days. Even though he had you know one hundred and sixty thousand subscriber, he still respond. That's why I send him money so he can do his deed and videotape it, and I feel blessed that my money send well. And it's my third time. So today, after I had my car oil change because every five thousand, and they、um, sold me on the cabin filter also, and up to be like one hundred twenty-two dollars for an oil change. God damn it! And so, <laughs> seriously, at fire stuff. So I thought, okay, my car is really.、Uh... You went in for the thirty-minute massage and got the ninety-minute. <laughs> Yeah, I went in for a thirty dollar oil change and came out paying hundred and twenty two dollar with the cab and filter. And so I feel like my car was like a brand new. Because it's COVID, it helps with COVID, right? Help with COVID to spend. No, the filter for your cab. Oh, that's what he said. Say to me too. Here, do you see this? This one you've been breathing in. And I was like, okay, sucker, <laughs> sucker, yeah, I'm a sucker. Usually, it's thirty bucks, man. Today is one hundred twenty-two dollars for my Toyota Corolla, and then, you know, whatever. So I drove down to、uh, Chinatown, donate some money to Vietnam, bought a lot of、uh, preserve for my parents so they can celebrate. So they can put it on the altar for that, which is next month. Big platter. February eleventh. Twelve. Twelve. Kale, 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 kale. Good job, kale. It's candy. Kale, kale. It's like cat and mouse poop, and then a whole bunch of other crap. <sighs> and then. Yeah, that was expensive too. That was fifty bucks, just for two plates of that. You know how you go crazy with pastry when you you brought me home to your mom from the Italian pastry. That's how I was too. <laughs> you know, went crazy sandwiches, pastry. Oh, I want to go there, man. Yeah, I mean, but nobody's entering because.、Um, Right now, care first contact care provider is getting the shot, the shot, the vaccine, and、uh, normal people, you and I, the free test is available at、um, Bellevue College. You know all the facility to stick up your from here. I'm not. I'm not getting nothing shoved up my nose. Yeah.、Uh. Everybody says it hurts like this, and I got a weird thing with my nose. I don't want nobody messing with me. Yeah.、That. No kidding. Stick it. My dad、yeah. did that. They did that when he, we were at the hospital. He's clean. Oh, guess who got COVID though? Why can't you just spit the goddamn cup? Jesus Christ! No kidding. No kidding. Just some fucking vial or something. Come yeah. on. Yeah, it's the same freaking mucus. Yeah, it physically hurts. Like it hurts. 
I don't yeah. understand that whole concept at all. You know? No way in hell. But the vaccine is will be free too. But that won't be until June. Huh? Maybe early as March. And you need to take that shot before you leave for Vietnam. All the, all the, yeah. There'll be plenty of vaccine by the time I have enough money to get back to Vietnam. Trust me. You know, I see a lot of uh, Uber driver, Uber drivers during this time. Everybody got the Uber company. <laughs> Chinese Uber. Oh, you know, they work for themselves, so they name whatever they am. And then they put the sticker right on, and they don't need to pay tax because most of that fee, you know, is, um, you know, uh, very little. So, do so you get the stimulus too yet? I heard it should be out. Yeah. You have? 600 bucks. Stimulus yeah. 2? I thought it's uh, uh, stimulus 2, not unemployment. Yeah, the stimulus was, was 600 bucks. Showed up on my bank account last week. Seriously? Do you apply for it or just automatic? Just automatic. Huh. I didn't check. I should check. But anyway, so, um, that's what my brother said. They automatically, you know, like, deposit into your bank. I'll let you know when we're leaving. We'll probably leave when doors open. Well, maybe by some miracle I'll be able to go. <laughs> Why don't you just stick with me? I mean, it's not like... Oh, you you want to see uh, what's her name? Lee. L Y. How come Lee is not married? Well, she was. Oh, she was married. Yeah. It didn't work out, huh? No. Did you she was young. did you plan to bring her to America, or do you? Uh, do you guys even do anything, or do you plan to do what Kevin's going to do? Just retire over there. Um, well, yeah, she's coming to America. She'll, she'll be here in two months. Oh, you apply for what process? Tourism? No, fiance. Oh, did she pass? In four minutes. She passed in four minutes? Okay, if she passed in four minutes, when she get out of there, that means she got her visa. She's holding it. Yeah, she has her visa right now. She's had her visa since last November. Oh, my God. How the hell did she pass and then Toad did not? It's so strange. She says she waited in a room with about 200 people. And had to wait like an hour or an hour and a half for her turn. She said people were crying and bawling. Because they fail? And, and like some would fail in like two, three minutes. Other people would fail in 45 minutes. You know, they, they break them down, you know, <laughs> like prisoner of war, you know, <laughs> and they crack or something. She said she went in and was out under five minutes. What kind of questions did they ask her? Um, I forget. I forget what they asked her. They asked her how we met, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it was less than five minutes. I was shocked. Yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? You know, because it was... Wait, you didn't... You didn't fly back. When was this done? When was her interview? Her interview was set up for last April, then they shut everything down. Oh, wow. So no so no interview. And then they say, you know, we're not going to do interviews until 2021. But then she gets a call in October. And they say, we're, we're going to start doing interviews again. So you're going to be in November, you know, whatever. 
and uh, she went the day she was scheduled, and you know. Did she bring in pictures or anything? Yeah, she brought. She said, she said everything. She photocopied like three years of of Viber texts and all that shit. Wait, you dated her for three years? Yeah. yeah. Before you marry her. When did you date her again? Okay, 2016 we met, went back, you were dating you. And 2017 then? Late 2017, like October, November. Or, yeah, October. Um, oh, but then no, she... You no, met September of 2017, but then we don't talk for um, about nine months. And then I, I go back to Vietnam, have actually didn't really plan on talking to her we kind of had a little falling out about something and uh and then we we end up seeing each other in uh on, on that other trip in 2018 and since then so and she had all that documentation yeah but what i'm trying to say is they didn't even look at it they did not look at it so they just she talked had, like she had like this thick, I mean, hundreds of pictures that are photocopied, hundreds of documents and everything. They didn't look at one thing. She must have spent like a hundred US dollars photocopying, you know. But wait, so they just interview her for four minutes, just ask her a few questions, and then she's she's good to go. Oh my yeah. God, you guys are a couple made like what's it called? Couples are made of uh, heaven or something. God. I, I say, I, I say, what, I don't, I say, I don't understand how, the, how, the, how is it so fast? I don't understand. I mean, she totally said, they failed. They, they just asked me, you know, how we met. I said, did they ask, you know, my son's name, my daughter. Wait. She said, no, don't, ask, don't ask me any of that. <laughs> you know. Wait, they so, call you too? No. Wait, she asked you about your children's name. Your wife? Yeah, yeah. She she say you know she write down everything. She say okay, you know she has this whole you know she's studying, remembering, you know everything. And they didn't ask her one question about that. They just oh my god. Not one. And she was married. Just like, just like general questions, you know. Crazy. They just pass her like that. And everybody was telling her things like, oh, dress in, um, um. Traditional outfit? Yeah, like, yeah, like, um. Oh, yeah. Got REI, yeah. Did she? Um, no. What? She dressed in jeans and, and a blouse and high heels. <laughs> she dressed like the exact opposite. You're, you know, everybody's on coaching, you know. Everybody's got their two cents they want to throw in, you know. And she says, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to dress, you know, like I normally do. Does she have kids over there or no? No. That's amazing. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. So anyways, 90 Day Fiance contacts me in November. Okay. And they're like, we love your story. We want, we want to interview you, and uh, we want to interview your friends, and this, that, and the other, and uh, just kind of like, you know, check the story out a little further, and so they do, and I don't know where we stand right now, but every single week, they call me and say, hey, what, give, you know, give us an update, what's going on, so it's weird. Oh, with you and um, Lee? Yeah. So, I'd say it's a 50-50 chance that you might see me on TV. Well, you won't since you never watch TV, but um, it's about a, probably about a 50-50 chance at this point. Yeah, so, I'm, on, I'm on YouTube, though, but no TV. YouTube 90-day fiancé, and you'll laugh your ass off. You'll laugh your ass off. It's so, funny. So, um, um, you are married now, or you are... She passed the engagement. You're not married? 
It's still engaged. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that's hilarious. Still engaged after three years, but never married. And get visa. Crazy. And she got visa. Did you come back here and proceed the process too, the same way? What do you mean? Um, for her application in Vietnam over here, don't you have also put in the application here? For the embassy well, yeah, in Texas? That's the only way it gets initiated, is by doing that. She, she can't initiate it herself. I have to. Okay. I, I remember you asking something like that a couple years ago. And um, how do you go about doing that? Did you just apply online yourself? Or do you have an agency? Yeah, I apply online. And um, I, uh, I find... I, I found a, a guy in Chinatown that uh, kind of walked me through the process and helped me out. I gave him, a, paid him a fee, and uh, and he's a really cool guy, man. I, I just I love him to death, and I actually haven't told him that the process has been completed, you know. Um, so I'm gonna surprise him, and I'm gonna kind of get him something. Like, what do you get? A, what do you get a Vietnamese guy, an older guy, as a present? Whiskey. What would be? XO. Really? I, I think he's a religious guy. I'm not sure he would like alcohol. Um, Something big for give me a sip for present. Well, but you give him a hundred bucks in an envelope. Okay. Yeah, you know, and because um, I prepare for the kids, but he did not process your thing. You process it. You send it off. You buy this as a Asian market or Lucky Maya? Yeah, like Lucky Money Pack. Yeah. Kind of you give him a hundred dollars. That's what you do when you go to a wedding. You give them a hundred dollars. Depends if you you love them, then you get them five hundred. But you know the kids get a hundred dollars. Gotcha, gotcha. And I fold well, them in hearts. He it, it really helped out a lot, and and uh, I got yeah he. Took a lot of time out. What's that guy? Didn't charge me. He didn't charge me hardly anything, too. Oh, because it was, it, same, it was the same guy I think Kevin went through. Uh, which guy is that? Pacific Ocean? No, no, no. Um, a couple blocks east of there. Um, well, his name's Sonny. Did I use him before? Because he used to run a um, agency for uh, selling tickets to go to Vietnam, and you buy tickets. Yeah. Oh, I yes. think I know him. Oh, Sonny? No, he's Pacific Ocean. Sonny, I called him the other day to see if. He... I don't. No, it's not. But it's not in the same. I don't know if he's associated with, but it's not the same building. No. It's not the place where we get tickets in 2016. No. There's no, another it's two guy. East of it. You know where that triangle shaped Vietnamese restaurant is? Um, are you talking about Tamarind? Rainier Avenue. On Rainier Avenue, there's that five corners where King Street intersects. They break that building down, that whole complex. I know. Oh. I know, but if you were to walk across the street to the east, there's this really small kind of mall. I mean, strip mall, but a tiny strip mall. You know, only maybe has five or six businesses in it. Two story. Anyways, that's where his office is. So. East. Are we talking about east? east? Away from the water. Away from the stadium. Oh, where the jewelry shop is? The gold? Past. Oh! Oh, where the intersection is, where I point, but there. Yes, there's five corners intersection. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was at that corner. They don't have that, that service anymore. They have hair cutting. They got a hair. They got, I don't know, they got a couple different things. Is it on the second floor? Yeah. I was there, too. Because Kevin said, you know, he was he had some guy there did his paper, which is your guy, right? Yeah, in fact, yeah, now I think about it, Kevin's the one that gave me his number to start with. And it's not $300? I thought Kevin told me it's like 300 bucks. Yeah, for media, it 
was, it was a little bit more. Um, it was like 400 but it was worth every penny of it, <laughs> clearly. You know, he took care of a lot of stuff for me. So. Oh, he processed all that for you, huh? Wow, I can't believe she got her visa and she can come to America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty unbelievable. What's she plan to do? What? She's a businesswoman, right? She sells from her uncle's shop. She just kick back, relax with you, and then end up going somewhere. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that have to be done. I mean, you know, it's not. You, you just don't hit the ground running here. You know, you, I mean, you just even getting a driver's license. I mean, those sorts of things, you know, take time. You know, so. Unbelievable. She she got to America with like flying colors when everybody debunked. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Especially Toad. What the heck is wrong with Toad? Well, I'm sure it helped that, you know, she could, with 100% honesty, say that, you know, it wasn't a match made, you know, and that we just met each other on the street, you know, basically. So. Who? Your girl said that? Yeah. But that yeah, is... Maybe. We didn't meet each other on a dating service or anything. She didn't we say didn't, that. We didn't have family member, member hook us up, you know. <laughs> I know. I can't believe to say that. Oh, my God. Match made. Wow, your girl just say, oh, we met on the street. Yeah. And she but passed. It's, it's the truth. So. It is the truth. Well, didn't you talk to her online first? Oh, literally, that was the girl that you met on the street and you was telling me she was the niece of the store shop owner in Saigon. That was the girl. Okay. Remember I meet that foreigner and at a laundromat right next to the hotel with the little guy that you were supposed to think that was your destiny that you walked away from. You still at it? Oh, I'm going to kill you. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it was like literally a block away from there. You, that's where you mean, met her? No, I meet a foreigner. Oh, okay. Like a, foreign, a Japanese man, a Turkish guy who lives in Japan. And uh, we meet at the laundromat, and we just strike up a conversation, and and uh, we just hit it off. And we just absolutely hit it off. I still talk to him a couple times a week now, you know? You're just and, a stud, uh, man. I'm so proud of you that you will... That's why, that's why I know so much about Japan and Turkey. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the fact that Lee is coming to America and all she did was like freaking... Flew through the interview where people went, phew! And she's like, go! Oh. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You guys yeah. are made for each other, for real. But you realize how crazy the story is, is I meet this guy, we party for 10 days, like... He's like a professional partier. In Japanese? Okay. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that dude. And then one day, he's like, let's go get shaved. And we go to this shop. And all these, there's not one white guy or a Westerner in there. It's all Vietnamese men getting shaved with, you know, old school Western style, you know. And wax. And, uh, and uh, I check it out. I'm like, no, I don't want a straight <laughs> razor. I don't want a straight razor right next to my neck, you know. And, uh. She can so shit. I, so I, yeah, and that's that's how I met her. Say what? That's how you met her? Yeah, I check it out and I say, no, I'm not going to get you. Go ahead, and I say, I'm just going to go get a shampoo. And I went and got a shampoo. Didn't see her at all because it was so bright out. It was like one o'clock in the afternoon. You know how fucking bright and hot it is. I'm sweating like. I can't see, like, I'm blinded because it's so bright outside. I don't have any sunglasses. And so, go and get shampoo, and I don't even see who's shampooing me. And then later, when it's over, I go to pay her. This is the first time I saw her is when I paid her. So, so wait. This is your girl, Lee? Yeah. So, who's the uncle? Her uncle owned the shop? Yeah. 
big, big shock, like, like, dizzy shock. Not, not like you think. Well, everything is busy over there. Yeah, but there are levels of busy, okay? <laughs> and, and, like, you know, you know that, like, a rinky dink place in the right area could be a million dollar piece of property, you know? I mean, and that's what this is, you know? So. Okay. It was, on, it, it was in Bouvienne, actually. Bouvienne? It is. Yes, the barber shop. Well, I'm just happy for you. That's all I have to say. And yeah, I don't see you needing to go back there when, you know, she can come to here. She has a visa. Yeah, but I like it there, so it makes me kind of sad. You can still go there once, you know, borders open. I know, I know, but not for a long time. Yeah. For a long time. Like once border open, who's going to go? Is she, are you, is she coming here? Or are you going over there? Are you waiting for her to come here? Or are you planning to go over there and take her back here? Because borders open mean access in both ways. She's coming here. Okay. Then once she comes here and then, you know, whatever, and then you guys can go back there together, you know, once she miss over there or you miss over there, you know. Does she have her own place over there, or does she live with her uncle? Oh, and who's con who's who's uh, gonna be managing that place when she comes over here? Well, she's just renting a place right now, but she has. Oh, like, she's ranching. She, she okay. has she has property and stuff over there, so she's not. Okay. Well, yeah, she can close it up and, you know, have her uh, uncle or somebody. She has you know. sisters, she has sisters, you know, she has family. So. She has family She's over there? Yeah. Huh. She's not some, she's not some poor country girl by any means, okay? She's, she's, she's a smart girl. She's done well for herself. Yeah, she's from Ho Chi Minh. Of course she has to be smart. To live there is expensive. Yeah. Well, that's really fortunate. <laughs> you didn't tell me this part that she passed the interview. You keep talking, talking, talking. I have no time. Excuse me? I keep talking? When you stop talking, I tell you. <laughs> you are so mean. Wow, look at that. You know, two beautiful relationships that work out like a charm. You got your tigress, and Kevin got his uh, chicken. <laughs> uh, okay, high five, you men. Okay, well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, pretty unbelievable. Yeah. Oh. I mean, the whole thing. The whole thing's unbelievable, and it's about to get more okay, unbelievable. Okay. Uh, Especially if the camera if the camera starts rolling, then it'll get really unbelievable. So. Oh, uh, that part I don't really care. I, 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 I'm just like at awe by the fact that you finally found love. You know, after all that, and then you, you know, and and once you found love, you know, it it works. It's like with flying colors. You know, nothing is of obstruction. But, well, yeah. I mean, I followed through with the whole thing, you know, I mean, it wasn't like a shotgun on thing. This has been going on for a long time, so, you know. Wait, you, uh, yeah, you dated her for some times, going back and forth, and then, yeah, three years, and finally. Basically, two and a half years nonstop, and then, you know, a year before then. Yeah. Well, it works out. It works out, and now you can, like, grow happily with the tiger. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. There's another twist to the story. Oh, no. Go ahead. Give it to me. The, my daughter's mother, uh, my high school. The sweetheart. one over in the East Coast? Yeah. Her and her husband. Unbeknownst to me, until 
until maybe two months ago, three months ago, okay. have been in negotiations to buy a strip club. Neither one of them have ever ran a strip club before. They have it in their mind, with, before I even know about this, that I'm going to come fly down there and run this thing for them. Okay. How crazy is that? <laughs> Did they buy it already? Where is it at? They, it's in uh, Savannah, Georgia. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me they're in... You know, there's a lot of Milai in Savannah. Milai is Amerasian from the Vietnam War. The, oh, okay. So there's okay. Vietnamese mothers. How do you say Milai? Mei, Mei is America. Lai is almost. So Mei. because they're 50 50. Mei is America. M Y, Mei, right? Like Mei Tho, but I say Mai To. Mei. <laughs> Mei, okay, M Y. But there's an accent mark, so I say Mei. Lai. Lai is like almost like. So they're not 100% American. They're not 100% Mei. That's why they say Lai. Lai is like. 50-50, almost okay. like. So basically, that's what we call them, uh, the Amerasian, the ones with the mothers, the American yeah. Yeah. military. Yeah. So they all, back in 1990, they have a program, American Generators program, where all the children bring their family, they're from the, from the military, and so they all reside there in Georgia, Savannah, and Champlain Tucker, which is next to it. So they have a huge community, supermarket, the whole city. Wow. People look like you, because you're me Lai. You're half, but you're Chinese, right? They look exactly like you. Wow. Wow. And if you, they come in, and they're wild like you, you can manage. No wonder she wants you to come over and manage, because they all look like you. You ever seen the movie Magic Mike? Is this a black guy? No. Um, it's a Channing Tatum. White guy. No. I've been watching anyway, a lot of action it's movies. A, it's, about, uh, it's about male strip club. Male strippers. Ooh. <laughs> it was filmed in this club that they're trying to buy. So. Trying? How much is it selling for? Well, there's two parts to it. There's a landowner uh, who owns 50% of the club and then a 50% owner of the club. So there's two parts to it. They've already negotiated the price with the landowner and his 50%. Now they're working on the lady's 50%. So this husband of her, is she also, because she's she's um mulatto right she's half also just like you so what about her husband is he totally black because georgia is black i mean he's 100 a he's yeah. a white guy yeah he's a white dude do they end up having he's kids he's a military guy oh yeah from what branch uh, i don't know I, I don't remember wow he's a white guy in I, georgia if I had to guess, I'd probably say, well, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't. They want you to do that? Sure, why not? You, know. you love the community. She'll love it, too, your girl. Because they're all Vietnamese. They only speak Vietnamese. Well, I'm sure she'd like the climate better in Seattle. But... Especially with the kind of community over there. Well, see, you know, once you come here, you take a trip over there to Champlain Tucker, Vietnamese town. There's a lot yeah. of things she can do over there. Seriously. Well, my daughter's been there a couple times, and she's shown me pictures, um, and it looks beautiful over yeah, there. Yeah, but, but you're talking about Savannah. Champlain Tucker is a Vietnamese town. No, I know, but I mean just the area, just the weather, the area, just the history and stuff. Yeah, and it's yeah. easy access down to Florida, which is very nice. Yeah, yeah. Or you can go up north to Maine and New York. No. <laughs> you shake your head. Yeah, they old country up there. Very conservative. Maine, Pennsylvania. I like the idea of 
Tampa. Tampa. I've been to Tampa. Oh, before. yeah. I really went there. Yeah, basically during this COVID, they say, fuck COVID was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's a little freer there. Yeah, the Much Cubans. Better. The Cubans and the Hades migrate there, and you got your Cuban coffee. It's almost like Vietnamese coffee. You love that in Florida, right? Yeah. I'm a Seattle guy, so doing anything radical and crazy like that would be it would have to be absolutely perfect for me to do something like that. So I don't see that happening. You know, but you, you it's, sell it, yourself it's short. Fun, it's just it's fun to let the mind wander during COVID when you have nothing else better to do. So. You know, you sell yourself short and in your first trip to Asia, you got hooked. And now you even got engaged. <laughs> yeah. Okay, engaged, right? Not married, no. Oh my God, that's like, that's like a dream. You don't need to get married just to bring her to America. You mean you can pull the plug? Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? Me and you are like, oh shit. I'm going to pull the plug anytime I want. I can't believe, I can't believe Kevin's still not. I can't believe that he's married and not with her. It's crazy. Because we probably... Would have, if it wasn't for COVID, she probably would have been here in April, you know, you know, somewhere around. Like, the process isn't that long, you know? Yeah, for me to tell Kevin about this, he's probably going to be like, <laughs> clap us cats that, you know, totally like, I must be an idiot, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't tell him. No, I'm going to tell him. Just rub it in. You suck. <laughs> yeah, I will, you know, when he told me back in 2017, after her interview, that the question she answered, how did they met? And she said, I'm the matchmaker. I was like, how dumb can you be, man? You know, matchmaking, matchmaking. I'm like totally like at all. I didn't match make you guys. Why do you say something like that? I did not match make. Okay. <laughs> How did I match make? You know. I, I can't. I just like I said, less than five minutes. Didn't even look at her paperwork. You know. Yeah. And thank God. Thank God that my paperwork that I sent in. Thank God they were, weren't like, let's see an updated version of his financial situation. <laughs> you know, they basically took all my financial information from 2019 and just took it at face value, you know, so. Oh, your W-2? Everything, everything. They took it at face value, whereas now, you know, I've been laid off for a year almost, you know. <laughs> It's, it's funny. It's just fun. Uh, if you show them your financial situation from last year, they're probably going, how the hell are you going to support your fiance? <laughs> but your, your, uh, your W-2 from, um, is it? Yeah, that? just everything. Everything, yeah. I mean, there the was bank. a satellite up my ass, all the questions they wanted. They wanted every, you know, bank accounts, credit cards. I mean, every little nook and cranny they wanted and it's funny because you know like i said if they were to do that now they'd be like this guy's toxic we're not touching this <laughs> you know come back in 2022 when you get your shit straight you know? so. hey don't worry about it they didn't care about your financial stuff she's in america i mean she's she got her visa basically she could be in america anytime because that visa is not going to expire Seriously, once she's here, my mom's advice for um, the new the new bees. That's why I asked you, are you going to go over there or she's going to come over here? Because my mom's advice is, if you're trying to get your citizenship, you better be here physically and not migrate back and forth like that. It doesn't work well, I, like No, we, we've done our due diligence and looked into this whole thing. So Yeah, once she comes here, she better stay put. For at least, you know, two years before, you know, so she can get her green card. 
And then when she applied for her citizenship and not get denied, she better stay for, you know, another three years. So total five years to bring her family over. Yeah, well, the, her family has no desire to come here. So oh, seriously? That's not, that's not. She has issue. sisters who don't want to come. Are they married? They have, a, they have a really good life there. I mean. No, are they married? How many sisters and brothers or whatever? She has one sister, one brother. And are they married? The brother's married. The sister is. The sister, she can sponsor like that, but the brother. The sister speaks zero English and likes likes Vietnam, so she's not. There's nobody, nobody. The parents have a farm that they've worked up on for years. You know, they have no interest. You know, it's not. It's not. It's not how you think it is. So it's just her then and you. Yeah. Being a tiger, you know, she will be able to do a lot of things. She's not easily intimidated in America. Yeah. yeah. Shit, you survive Ho Chi Minh City, you're, you're toughened up. I know. But if you make a living in Ho Chi Minh, you're fine here. She does not do a lot of things, you know. So yeah. She's not, she has many, many different skills. Yeah, I'm sure. She, she can tattoo. She can cut. She can nail. She can do a lot of different things. Okay. Well, the, the good part is she's in love with you. <laughs> We're in love with each other. Yeah, I mean, she could she could have fallen in love with anybody because she's in that business, but she fell in love with you, and apparently you're a picky person too, so you fall for her, so that's good news. Yeah. One great aspect about the whole thing, COVID thing, you didn't tell me all this like a couple of times ago. All you do is cry, cry, cry. You cry, cry, cry about your situation. Yeah. We, we haven't talked since she got her visa. We haven't talked since then. Oh, okay. So she got her visa, you said when? April last year? November. This last, this last November. But her test was April. No, I just say that if it wasn't for COVID, she would have had an interview. In oh. Oh, she shit. Like, she just passed the November test. Her interview. Oh, my is, God. And oh. then they say no interviews. Oh, so when I was talking to you, you didn't have any good news because she wasn't taking the test. She just it passed the test. It was all bad news because it was like off the table. We're not doing interviews till 2021. Oh. oh, man. So you have been living with good news for recently. I see. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy. See, things turn out to be a lot better than the last time I met you at Costco in April. <laughs> yeah, a whole lot better. See? High five on that one. Yeah. I'm so happy for you, too. And you're smiling, and your girl's coming, and she got her visa. Whereas back then, it was like, Lake Live is a graveyard. Yeah. Hey, speaking of, of procedures and whatnot, um, when, if she goes to get a driver's license, do they provide uh, uh, the driver's license in Vietnamese, like the written test? Or is it strictly English? Um, no. Nowadays, I think they even have it in Chinese. And it's at 911 and all the facility in my building for my uh, spot. They, at the bottom, there's a lady. I can get the number for you. And she does a um, uh, driver license for adult. And they, they're usually from people from another country, from India, anywhere. Okay. So I get that number for you, and then she goes and she texts with that lady, too. Okay. So, so you just pay a fee for her, and she does adults. I get that number. Okay. Yeah. Um, and she gets her driver license with that lady. And that lady have a car, too. Because the cars are parked in the back. Are you talking to the lady actually is the person that gives her the driver's license? Yeah. Weird. I know. She does she doesn't go like you and me to a guy. No, DMV, all school, man, all school. Like we did in the eighties. What I'm telling you now is that um, 
these facilities if you drive our license to. Crazy. And you pay them a fee. Because mm -hmm. that's one thing that she can get instantly is a driver's license. Yep, she get instant driver license and you add her onto your uh, insurance. Why? Why you need her to have a driver license ASAP? For ID, like an identification. She can get Just her ID down in the uh, driver license, you know, facility for fifteen dollars. An ID. I know, but a driver's license is more, it's more of a permanent thing. You know? okay. So I just want to get all the simple things that can be done like this out of the way. So. Okay. Well, in my building, that lady does that for adults. Green card take a long time. Two years. Work, work permit take a long time. You know, it takes like four or five months. Excuse me? Sure. No. She's on. She has, she has many friends, okay, that, that. That live in all different places in the U.S. No, I'm I'm telling you. Uh, once when she comes here, because she's engaged with you, she automatically could work. Cause she's not on a working visa; she's under fiance. So once she step on American soil, she could work. But she needs a work, like a work ID. You like, you mean she need her social security number? Yes. 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 And that won't be in two years. She won't yeah, get that well, until two years. It's not that long, but it's 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 a process. And so, anyways, I'm just trying to get all the simple things that can be done without, you know, that don't take a lot of time out of the way. That's all. So that's why driver's license, not ID. So. Yeah, but ID is right away. Driver license, you have to pass their course. Which, I know. which takes I like know. a month or two. The course is not two weeks. The course is a month. But dry, but ID is like that. Well, what, uh, uh, and that's fifteen dollars compared to I'll the course. Time, I'll have time to research all the corner cutting. No need. She already. There's no need. Once she landed, you take her driver license, take her ID, enroll her in this course. In a month, she get her driver license. She get two. Three identification, you know, ID, driver license, and her uh, passport. Yeah. Three things, and then um, you know, hang around, hang loose, kick back for a year or six months, and you know, she can work anywhere she wants under the table too. You still got a nail place? Yeah, but I'm place. saying for her to work under the table, I'm talking about the restaurants. All cash because the for her to touch any of the stuff, she need licenses, and so you would have to spend a thousand dollar in Vietnamese town for her to get licensed, and that is a process too. Well, she does. She cooked. She she could open up a restaurant. You know, I mean, literally, just you know, just like I'm sure two could. You know, I mean, she knows how to cook, so. She, right now, um, the facilities for beauty, they require you to have a license. And you can get a license like nails in a, in a month in Vietnamese town. But the course itself is also a month. And then you have to go and test. And it's not in Vietnamese. The test is in English. So I don't know how good her English is. So that's why I say if you want her, if she wants to make a living right away, she can work at the restaurants and it's under the table. And restaurant right now they're running at um let me see, fifteen hundred a month. Fifteen hundred a month and that's part time. Um nails prior they were hiring, you know, those under the table. But right now COVID they're not. All have to be licensure. And because it's so slow. Yeah. Well, hopefully there will be some synergy, and by the time she gets here, it'll all turn around, you know, in the right direction. You know, obviously it's going to take a long time, but, you know, vaccines, you know, hopefully going to get out there, you know. Are vaccine? you going to take vaccine? Yeah, in order to leave the country, we're going to need to vaccinate. You know, that you'll be a gen genetically modified organism. How do you do that, right? You will not be GMO free. Can't 
okay, I guess I won't be leaving the country. I won't get vaccine <laughs> until everything clear out. <laughs> I don't want to be vaccinated. You know, I don't even get a flu shot. I, do, I have mixed feelings, okay. but I, I, you know, a few months ago, I was like, I'm not getting vaccinated. Fuck that, you know? But there's three different types of vaccination, though. I would like to take I would like to take a test to see if I've had it before. You know, have you taken a test to see? Up your nose? No way. No, I. There's got to be a different way. That can't be the That's only it. effing way. That's it. No. Right now. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Can't they take blood? Jesus. No. Because they're if they're taking blood, they would see your immunity. To the uh, if you had built uh, immunity to it, like an antibody to it, you know this thing is brand new, right? <laughs> so not even a year yet. It's a year old, right? I mean, it's been a year in other countries, but it's not even a year since it was first declared on March 12th of last year. And to for them to find a vaccine that fast, and FDA is able to approve of it, based on what hap what's happening, you know. Why does it matter? They're not even they're not even making it publicly for people like you and I. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, to leave country you have we're to get we're, we're, we're in the elderly category now. Not sixty five. Not not um of death. Okay, I can, as as of today I can apply for my AARP card. Okay. <laughs> Under what condition? You only have to be 50 to get oh. the car. Seriously? Yep. Yeah. Doesn't mean you get all the benefits, but you can get a car. I get discounted Denny's. I always get discount. I mean, I don't go to Denny, but, you know, military. Yep. Yeah. At IHOP. Uh, did you plan to marry her when she comes here, or you can leave it like that? I think you told me a story of a guy who never got married, but he had children from different women. I'm just wondering about you guys. Are you going to leave it hanging, engaged? No, we're getting married. We're going to get married in June. Oh, okay. Vegas? I'll send, you, I'll send you the invite whenever there's a firm date. Hey, no need. I'm just saying. I, I, I just want to bless you. That's all. It's all this time, you know. You're like... You never find a bright girl to... Um, Settle down, you know what I mean. So, so it's good news. Yeah. All right. Well, I gotta get going here. I gotta go. Yeah, I'm doing this thing. Head in Seattle. So I gotta take a shower and all. What do you mean shit. heading in Seattle? You gave me this, remember? Yeah, I'm, sur I'm surprised somebody didn't steal it out of your car. <laughs> hey, you told me to take it inside for my car, so I took it in. You know how much that, that you know how much that chain cost? You have any idea? Just the chain. You tell me, because I don't know. You gave it to me. You didn't tell me how much. I know this thing costs a lot. Four hundred dollar chain right there. Just the chain. And you have it dangling in your fucking rearview mirror for a year. Hey, it's good luck, okay? How, how insulting. <laughs> what do you mean? I see it every day, and I'm in my car every day. You should be like, ah. Yeah. So yeah. So do all the thieves. And well, after you told me, you know, that I shouldn't be hanging on my car, so I took took it in. Well, that was my way of saying thank you for introducing me to a whole new <laughs> Yeah, did you keep the thing that Van gave you, which I bought? Yeah. <laughs> the dog, the dog necklace. Yeah, and I also have a shot glass from Cambodia. She got me. Yeah. That that didn't work out. Okay, go do your thing. What are you doing in Chinatown? I'm not going to Chinatown. I'm going to see uh, Shannon. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead and see her. Yeah. Let's see my boy. How is she doing? Is She's she doing all right. Her, her classes are online, right? She don't go. To, she doesn't go to school. Shannon is your ex. She teaches, you know, disabled kids. Aren't her classes online? No, she, she takes care. She teaches in, in Oh, wait, life. disabled children. Actually, disabled children, they do they're have not, this. They're not disabled. 
special needs. She's, she works at a, a child care. Oh, right now? So she changed yeah. facility? Yeah. Oh, okay. 